What's up guys? Welcome back. So today I want to give you a little bit of an update on my Hell Whooper. So if you guys remember this one from such great films as introducing the Hell Whooper, the micro brushless um, quadcopter, I actually I don't remember what I called it. So um, if you remember this from my previous video, um, I was using some different motors at the time and I wanted to give an update of the motor swap that I did. So if you remember from before, I was actually running Racer Star BR1103 10,000 kV motors. And at the time, I thought it'd be a great idea to try a 3S battery and say, let's really kick this thing into high gear, let's get more power, and let's shoot it off into the sky. And um, if you guys remember from that lesson, it didn't work out so well. It flew for about a minute, burned up two of the motors, fried an ESC, uh, wasn't worth trying. But I didn't give up on that 3S Hellwoop dream. So what I ended up doing is I swapped out to some more torquey, uh, lower KV motors, and these are the DYS, 1104 7500 kV motors and that alone actually worked really really well I was real happy with the change in flight characteristics versus the 10,000 kV um, the 10,000 kV had a lot of speed but when doing acrobatic maneuvers and trying to catch myself with this one it just seemed to work a little bit better with these more torquey motors um, but the thing I was really excited about was how would it work with a 3S pack? So I picked up some Gigapower 3S uh, 300 milliamp hour packs. These things are tiny. They're like baby uh, 3S packs. Um, but they work really well. They're really light, so they go on the frame really well. Um, it fits and it provides tons of power. Um, it finally gave me that experience I was looking for, the more power out of my micro brushless. This thing is fast. This thing screams with 3S. Um, one thing I do need to figure out is a better way to mount the camera so I get more tilt. Because um, as it is right now, it's hard to go forward with my 3S, but I sure do like going up. So anyway, I've come out here to uh, the park area because I want to give it a try in sort of a, a bigger boy environment. This is a place that I fly my 5-inch quite a bit. So how does this work flying over a tree that a 5-inch typically flies over? The primary reason I have this, obviously, is for the backyard flying. So my backyard, as the trees have come in, as uh, winter has ended, has kind of filled in. It's really hard to fly the 5-inch back there. It's just not much fun. But this thing remains to be a ton of fun. So when I'm at home, I can't really get out. This is what I turn to. This is what I fly. Um, the other great thing about having the Hell Whooper, I mean, I've had this thing for many months now, probably five months. I'm not afraid to fly it in places I wouldn't fly my five inch. There can be people sort of close around. I'm not gonna fly into someone, but it's so quiet. It's really easy to control. It's easy to keep away from people. It's just nowhere near as threatening and it's just been awesome. I've gone to the park areas and flown. Um, when I put out the last video, there's some requests for a third person view punch outs. So just for the heck of it, I did some third person punch outs with this with 3S and be aware, it's gonna be hard to see. This thing is fast. So it'll shoot in the air. You might not be able to see it in the video, but I figure it's worth throwing in for those people looking for that third person view anyway. Punch. Holy sh... <laughs> wow. That is simply insane. I, I'm not good enough line of sight to do this. So one other thing I want to touch on briefly is in the last five months, this thing has had a ton of crashes. It's had to be rebuilt a few times. I've broken some cameras off, um, but the frame keeps ticking. Pretty much everything keeps going. It's the same original ESCs, the six amp Racer Star ESCs. They're still going strong. These motors have been through a lot. They're going strong. Um, I had one incident where I had chopped the antenna. I did a punch out probably 120 plus feet, had a fail safe. It fell straight into the ground. I broke my little standoffs, my uh, nylon standoffs, and that was really it. I was really impressed with the durability of this thing. So definitely more durable than the 5 inch just because it's so light. And with the current setup, I believe it's weighing in around 47, 48 grams. That makes for a lot of fun when you have 3S power. So without further ado, let's, think, let's get this thing out and see if I can fly over the trees and punch out and pretend like it's a 5 inch. Let's give it a shot.
So that was a really short flying session. Um, definitely not used to this little cam camera angle. I gotta do something to get it more upright so I can see behind myself as I'm doing my power loops. Um, but I did not mean to fly the thing right into the tree. Thank God it fell down. Um, that at least was a savior because that would have been really tough to get this out of that tree. Um, I was trying to power loop the, the playscape and it works, it's got the power to do it. It sends itself back, but it's just with this camera angle, I couldn't tell where I was. So anyway, that was only a little bit of flying, trying to give you an idea what this is. Uh, one thing to keep in mind is outside an environment like this, when the wind picks up like it was here, it definitely has a hard time. It gets blown around real easily. I find it just floating off almost like on its own hovering and just moving. I had to give it some real tilt to get it back over so it didn't fly into a tree. Um, so there's definitely some downsides to this, but it's much safer, great in smaller environments. If you control the wind, it flies amazing. Um, I'm still loving this thing. I'm still addicted to these things. These motors just made it that much better. If you're planning on building your own little hell whoop, really light, you know, 87 millimeter, two inch quad, definitely recommend giving these motors a try. Uh, again, DYS 1104, 7,500 KV. They work really well. They work really well with 3S. Um, it's also a ton of fun to fly in 2S, especially around, you know, proximity objects. And these Racer Star 6 amp ESCs have been rocking strong for six months or so. So definitely recommend giving these a try too. <laughs> Anyways, guys, that's gonna pretty much wrap it up. I just wanted to give you guys an update on my uh, Hell Whoop, what's been going on, um, how 3S is rocking. I finally got that more power adrenaline rush that I was looking for. And uh, I just wanted to share that with you guys. Anyways, I'll catch y'all later. Peace.